Hey, welcome to Iron and Light. My name is Tasha, and I'll be reading for the sign of Gemini. Gemini. Now, listen, I thought y'all had the highest number of views, but actually, it was just showing that one of my videos that y'all had the highest number of views. The person who has the highest number of views was actually Scorpio. So, now, because I told y'all I would give y'all a bonus, I'm going to go on and give it to you. Okay? Because one of my videos, y'all have like 255 views. So, I'm going to give y'all a bonus. Y'all didn't really earn the bonus for last week, though. Because I think y'all only had like 18 views or something like that. But I'm going to give it to you anyway because I said I would. But Scorpio is the one that's getting the bonus this week. So, anyway, uh, welcome to I Am The Light. Uh, uh, if you're new here, hello, <laughs> I'm Tasha. And if you're returning, welcome back, baby. So we starting off with uh, a spiritual love and then money. Now I've changed out the decks. This week we're going to do a life coaching oracle for your spiritual message. So we're going to jump right in. Let's see what spirit got for you. So spirit guys, ancestors, great divine. What is it that you have for a Gemini? Gemini. But my Gemini place with sun, moon, and rising. What do you got for Gemini? What is it that Gemini placements need to know this upcoming week spiritually? Oh my goodness. Y'all have to excuse my dog. My son will terrorize the dog. He didn't terrorize her so much she be scared to come downstairs. Oh goodness. So I apologize if you hear her barking. It's probably because he ain't there. And she old. My dog is getting old. My little Boston Terrier. She is old, honey. <laughs> he be in the torch her little old self. Yeah, he's, a, he's only five, so he don't know. <laughs> What you got for Gemini? Sun, Moon, and Venus rising. Mm, okay. Y'all, this deck is so big and my hands are so small. <laughs> So this is what y'all got today y'all have nourishment number 17 which breaks down to an eight you're being asked to take time out for self-care gemini it's time it's time it's time some of y'all need a break baby time to take time for you okay so nourish yourself listen if you pouring into other people's cup you need to stop for a second and pour into your cup because, listen, you can't keep giving to people from an empty cup, baby. So, <laughs> if y'all giving out a lot of y'all's time, energy, and whatever, whatever to other people, Spirit is saying, no, baby, it's time for you to take time for you. Go sit down. Go rest. Go watch you a funny movie. Go to the park. Go ground. Go take a hot bath. Go for a run. Whatever your personal thing is. Read a book. Go to the movies by yourself. Go do something where you take care of you so you can replenish you, okay? Some of y'all might even want to go travel by yourself. Go on a trip. Do what you need to do. Take care of you, baby, okay? That's what you can do. And that way you can continue doing whatever it is that you do <laughs> after you take care of you. Now, y'all have past life connections, number 18. You're currently healing a past life wound. Somebody has some past life something. It could be a past life situation, a past life wound from something that happened in your childhood. It could be something that just happened last week with a loved one, a friend, a co-worker, whomever. Whatever it is, it's done and over, and you need to heal it. 
Next card out, y'all got is 36 perception. You're getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. Uh-oh. What y'all got going on, Gemini? I'm curious now. Uh-oh. 36 breaks down to a nine. So you got past life connections. And that's a nine. And then perception nine. Are y'all about to find out something about somebody from y'all's past? Or somebody, something from your past is getting ready to change something? There's about to be a shit. Y'all, I really want to go fix that door because it will shake. It drives me crazy. I don't even know if it's picking up on the camera, but it will drive me crazy. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Um, It says here, though, that there's about to be a shift in your perception. It's about to change everything. What the hell y'all got going on? I'm curious. I got the... <laughs> curious i want to know what's gonna change y'all's perception what y'all about to find out is this something about somebody from their past something from your past perceptions only change and it says it's about to change everything so i need to know i don't normally pull out my tarot on the <laughs> i can but I, I mean, this is such a huge shift for y'all. I need to know what y'all doing. Look, and then after this, it says authentic self-expression. Be true to who you really are in your past life. Wait, wait, wait. Be true to who you really are and your life will change in the most amazing ways. What? Okay, Spirit, What? clarify this perception. What is it that Gemini is going to find out that's going to change everything? A shift in their perception. What's going to What is this shift in perception that Gemini is going to have that's going to change everything? Page of Pentacles. Upright with the Knight of Cups. Upright. Temperance. Upright. Knight of Pentacles. Reverse. Ace of Wands. Page of Swords. Damn, it's a lot of pages and knights out here. It's like two knights, two pages. One's upright, one's reverse. One's upright, one's reverse. And you got the S1. I think what y'all about to find out based on this is that somebody okay, somebody loves you but can't give you what you need that's what it looked like to me and once you accept that they can't give you everything that you need gemini you're gonna somehow find you gonna you're gonna birth something new and it's gonna move you in a whole new direction spirit confirm what i just said you got the moon yep Yep, it's something about it you don't see. And then once you move away from that, it's going to move you to the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, and then you gonna, it's going to move you. Oh, when you realize that this particular person or situation is not providing you what you need, you're going to birth something completely new. You don't even see it yet. You don't even see it yet. And it's going to move you into the Ten of Pentacles, and it's going to put you around more harmonious connections that will grow and work for you okay one more card for that to double confirm to, you know give me more confirmation yep yep that's the plan so spirit's plan for you where do these cards come from spirit's plans for for you is that you got to let go of something it ain't serving you baby and as soon as you do, there's going to be such a shift inside of you that you're going you gonna to find more of you. You're going to start taking care of you. It's like you got to let go of something that's not serving you. And as soon as you do, it's going to be a shift in reality. Okay? But Spirit wants you to be true to who you are because your life is getting ready to change. Now, last card out, and that was number 24. 
24 break down to a six, okay? Last card y'all have another six. So y'all got two, one eight, two nines, and two sixes. Core values. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. What's important to you, Gemini? Because it seems like as soon as you get there and you find you and your perception change, money is right around the corner, baby. So what's it, what what is that your values? What what do you value? Follow your heart. That's what spirit's saying. That's it for your spiritual. Real short to the point. All right, let's jump into what's the T. Now, I cannot lie, I cannot lie. The T has been messed up. <laughs> the T can get messy. Y'all know it. That's why y'all love what's the T. And I don't care what reader do what's the T. Everybody love the T, honey. Everybody love the T. And they want to know. Now, I saved the cards before I started. But after so many readings, I just do a little touch up with a little sage spray. So, keep the energy good and <laughs> where it needs to be. Okay, y'all. So, let's see. What is the T for uh, J J Gemini, Gemini and a person? I need to know what is the T for Gemini and a person. I'm sorry, y'all. I like that little Gemini song I got for y'all. I be in here bobbing my hair at all. Come on, Spirit. We got to read for J J Gemini. <laughs> I do cappies like that too, because Cap Capricorn, you could do it with Capricorn. All right. All right, let's see. What's the T for Gemini and that person? What's the T? What's going on, Spirit? Somebody is trying to cyber bully you because they hold on to a grudge. What? That's what say cyber bully. Somebody is trying to bully you online. They feel like they suffering. And so they hold on to a grudge. But you're blocking out all negativity. You won't even notice somebody sending you all this cyber bullying and talking junk about you online. Maybe y'all, maybe some of y'all ain't on all the social media sites, so you don't know that you're being talked about, but you are. <laughs> Somebody got your name in their mouth. Somebody's talking about you, and you might not even know it. Because it says you're blocking negativity. You're escaping crazy people, and you're protected from the haters. Some of y'all are moving on from this. You don't, you're not, I'm telling you, you blocking out negativity. You blocking out anything that's not serving you. Thank you. Next, you moved on. Looking you up. Whoever's doing this cyberbullying and this uh, holding on to this grudge, they looking you up, baby. They're researching you. They're studying you. They're trying their best to gain any information they can on you. Now, y'all got girl fight. I don't know. Arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. So there are maybe two females competing. But it's looking like Gemini, you if you and somebody trying to compete with you, you don't even know about it. Like you don't, I promise you, it looks to me like Gemini. If you are in something where somebody is trying to compete with you, honey, or, or, or for my fellas, if somebody's trying to compete with you, you're very unaware of it. It's like they're fighting with you amongst the within themselves. Because it don't look like you know nothing about it. In their head, see? Whoever's doing the cyberbullying, this is somebody who's all in their head, overthinking, stressing, overanalyzing. Whoever's holding a grudge at, with you at this time, this is somebody who has, no, they're carless. They have no car, it's either repossessed or they having a, 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 or a car issue. Dod dodging bullets. Somebody is going through bad karma, but Gemini, you blocking, you blocked all the negativity. So ain't no negative karma coming towards you, but they experiencing it. I done been saying it. Some people be messing with guys, babies, and they don't be understanding. Boss daddy, somebody is, look, moving on. They are worrying about their money. They are in that big D energy. They're an owner, a business owner. They're, they're worrying about their finances. They're becoming stable and rich, and they're becoming a CEO. You're not worrying about None of what everybody else is worried about. 
But whoever this is is holding a grudge. They might be going through some stuff with their car. Mm. Screenshots. Somebody keeps trying to take screenshots of you to get <laughs> evidence, proof, or something. They trying. Somebody is trying their best to find something on you. And they screenshotting and trying to get little clips. I, I know I wouldn't care. I don't care. I, that type of stuff I don't care about. Told you. I just sat here and said, I know I don't care. And apparently, Jim and I don't care either because they are unfazed, baby. Unfazed. Somebody don't care. Nothing. It's like somebody is fighting with you in their own head. Or they want to fight you. And you just like, child, please. I'm worried about my money. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> but they, you want somebody, man. This is somebody, whoever this is, is trying to cyber bully you. You might know this person. And this person likes to present themselves like they are a, a real nice person to you. But they're really a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Listen. Whoever this carless person is is holding a grudge against you. They creeping, honey. They are watching you. <laughs> They are creeping around. They so creepy. This card is so creepy. Look at that. Peeking behind corners. They watching you, honey. Weird. But yeah, you you so busy dodging bullets and avoiding bad karma. And they might be the one getting the bad karma, honey. You so fuck. You hustling. You making it rain. I'm telling you. Gemini is not worried about whoever this is. Not. Not worried. Whoever this is that you moving on from, they are out here using a lot of spell work, honey. This is a divination abuser. So either they you getting tarot readings on you or trying to do spell work on you. You know what's so crazy to me is that when people do stuff like that, they always think they don't know. They'd be surprised. They would be surprised if they sat down with you the number of things that you could you probably know about them and you ain't doing none of this. <laughs> But somebody out here is being a divination abuser. They're doing too much spell work. Or they're out here using uh, tarot to be all in your business. Nope. What I just say? All in your business. No sooner than I said it, there it is. Digging dirt. They out here creeping, watching you, digging dirt, looking for evidence on you. Told you. Gemini, you got a hater, man. That's what it sounds like. You got a hater. <laughs> And you ain't worried about it. Again, you're unfazed. You out here winning money. You're worrying about getting rich. You're worrying about your inheritance. You're worrying about unexpected money that you're about to get. You ain't worried about none of this stuff. But somebody, again, is no matter how much you worried about your money, honey, somebody wants a close. They want the inside scoop. They ain't trying to be nosy and all up in your business. Somebody is no nosy. Boy, Gemini, what you doing that everybody want to be on your business? Now, whoever this is that's going to cyber bullying you, that wolf in sheep's clothing, they can ready to come towards you and give you some sort of dirty offer. This is somebody, this grudge holder, this carless, this creeping around, this weirdo, they're always partying. So this is somebody who likes to turn up, smoke too much, drink too much. They doing something up and they don't have to be smoking. It ain't, and when I say smoking, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's legal in some states, but it ain't legal in others. So either they smoking, partying, drinking, or doing some other drug. This is somebody who it likes to go out, hang out, kick it with a lot of people. Uh, you know, go to a kickback or they out here going to clubs or whatever. Whoever this is, they always partying, but they holding a grudge against you. This person who might be experiencing bad karma, so expect somebody because they see you out here hustling and, and dodging every damn bullet that they send your way. They see you doing that, so expect this idiot to come and try to kiss your ass. Because they clout hungry. This is somebody who will say anything, do anything, and make up shit. They very dramatic. That wolf in sheep's clothing. I kid you not. People get on my nerves. <laughs> People get on my nerves. Again, you're uninterested. So you going to listen. Thank you, next. I'm moving on. I'm worried about my coin. Don't have time for you. Keep doing whatever little stinking spell work you're doing. 
I'm I'm not worried about you. I'm moving on. That's what Gemini said. Moving on. Love triangle. Whoever is looking you up could be the third party of a love triangle. So whoever this person you was dealing with, Gemini, they you you must have they other they third party all bothered, honey. Cause honey, whoever the third party is, they been they looking you up, honey. They got whoever it is though, they got a third party, multiple lovers, lots of choices to choose from. And one of these people in this third party, <laughs> Gemini got you on the brain. And they looking you up and they trying to find out and they probably watching you online right now as we speak. <laughs> yeah, they can't get you hooked. And they keep trying. But you so unfazed. Hooked came out in reverse. They came trying to get you on a hook to, to catch you up in something, but they can't because you just not bothered. You're happy. You're moving on. Whoever this wolf in sheep's clothing is that wants to come in with this dirty offer thinking that's trying to cyber bully you in their own little way, they're broke ass. They ain't got no money. So get ready. And whoever this grudge holder this partying and doing the most and creeping and doing all this weird shit. They, they, they are, they, somebody got you on their brain, honey. Cause all they do is sit up and reflect on you. That's all they do is sit up and reflect on what you got going on. Child, if they worried about themselves, they could get the bag too. But they so busy worrying about what you got going on. Oh, you know what you doing? Let's well, say you making money. Now, travel. Somebody is getting ready to travel. You might be traveling to go make some money. Or or you're traveling in other ways. You know, travel, whenever the travel card come out, it could mean that somebody is going on vacation. But traveling could also mean that you're, you know, something you do is going all around the world, baby. Could be something, you know. Rejected. Yep. Whoever this divination abuser is that you're moving on from, you have completely X'd them out of your life. You have completely rejected them. And that might be why they doing all this damn spell work because they in their feelings. Love triangle. Whoever this third party is, they want to be just like you. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, this person wants to be you, Gemini. The third party. They want to act like you, dress like you, be like you, look like you, copy you, do you, do you, do you, do you. They want to impersonate you, baby. <laughs> they don't know you're an original. Cannot be copied or duplicated. This person is upset that you are not crying over them. That you cannot be, that they don't have you on the hook no more. That you're unfazed. This bothers them. That you seem unfazed, uninterested. You're not crying and you're not sad. And ain't you focusing on your money. Damn it, Gemini. How dare you? <laughs> For moving on from an idiot. This person is delusional, honey. Oh, Lord. Somebody is out here putting on a front, honey. They smile, but they hurting in the inside. They try to laugh and joke with their friends, but honey, they are very phased. Romantic love affair. Somebody, this grudge holder wants to come in and offer you a romantic love affair. That wolf and sheep's clothing, you know. They feel like sex will fix it. You know, they want a sex fix. They want to love on you, but they partying. It sounds like y'all on two different pages. Like this person and you aren't even a vibrational match. That's what it looked like to me. Moving. Yeah, you're moving. Somebody is traveling away from this. You're dodging bullets. You're traveling. You're moving. You're worrying about your money. You're worrying about... Tra you do, You are not. You're, you're not. Somebody want to kiss your ass though, but you are not worried about it. It's like you're moving on. Moving on. Moving, moving, moving. Travel. Everything that says that you're leaving this behind. And to you, it's the same shit, just a different day. But this this divination abuser, you know who it is. You're not interested. This is why you reject them. And you know what kind of person they are because it's the same shit. <laughs> same shit, different day. This impersonator, they want to be like you. They like to pretend they got money. They like to floss. They like to act funny. They like to show off. But you ain't like that. 
I don't think whoever this is, it's like they trying to act like they about their business, but they not. You can always tell a person who ain't about their business because they lazy. They talk about it, but they don't really be about it. They talk about it, but they don't be about it. That's how you could tell a fake. Or they give out real quick. They don't, they don't have the endurance to keep going. Queen rising. Honey, you so unfazed. You ain't worried about nobody arguing with you. You ain't worried about no girl fights or no boy fights. You ain't worried about none of that. You so busy. Y'all in that queen rising energy or king rising energy. You stepping into your power, honey. You worrying about the spotlight and coming up and, and worrying about other things. You are not worrying about these little people right here. These people right here are low vibrational. These people right here are childish. These people right here need to go find them something better to do. Because Gemini and <laughs> Gemini has left the building and you ain't got the memo. Whoever's watching you doing the most, you have left the building and they have not gotten the memo. I'm trying to tell you, you are not worried about the stuff that they worried about. Look, at the bottom deck, you got ain't shit. This person is mad that you're unbothered and they want to steal from you. They want to steal from you, thief. And they want you to come back. Foolishness. Gemini, y'all do better. Stay away from this loser. All right, y'all, let's get this love message. We're going to go into the tarot. And then I'm going to pull some messages from your person from a love oracle. And then we're going to go into money, okay? All right, Spirit, what you got for Gemini's love message today? What you got, Spirit, for Gemini five cards? Sun, Moon, and Venus rising. What's going on with their love life? fortune okay so y'all got the king of pentacles reversed the three of cups upright the wheel of fortune upright the hangman reversed and the world card reversed somebody is heavily in contemplation they well they're not in contemplation they feel like they got some enlightenment that they don't want this to be over they feel like they enjoy being friends with you they was happy with you they feel like they've gotten some sort of new enlightenment to this, that they don't want something between you and them to be over, that they want y'all to stay friends and to stay being happy and celebrating and partying and whatnot. Now, some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn with this King of Pentacles in reverse, but this person, with the, why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Clarify. This person knows that they caused you a lot of burdens because they were selfish. But now they want to come in and act like they want to show you some sort of mercy. After at first, you didn't see no mercy. All you seen was burdens. But now they want to come in and show you mercy. But they were selfish to you at first, okay? Hmm. Let's get five more cards out right here, Spirit. Five more cards.
Okay, the reason, okay, this person doesn't want it to be over with that world card in reverse. They want to put you up on a pedestal. They want to show you some attention. I'm telling you, somebody has gotten enlightenment that they don't want this to be over. They want to redo. They want to rebirth it. They want to they want to redo this whole relationship. They've been using that. They've been in that king of swords energy. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody is in their head. They like, okay, I have good luck with this person. I love this person. I don't want it to be over. I think I do want to put them up on a pedestal. I remember when we was cool. I want to quickly rush towards Gemini and be cool with Gemini. I like, I see good stuff with them. I want to go back to Gemini, and they want to rush in real impulsive after being selfish and closed off. wants to put you up on a pedestal but it's after you done already let them go you have released this person Gemini I clearly can see that you have released whomever this is now they didn't get this enlightenment that they didn't want it to be over until you found out about a third party y'all gotta forgive me I'm so tired of hearing about third parties I'm tired of him cheating. It's been so heavy all week, all week, all week, all week. Number third party, third party, third party. Some player with three, four chicks, two, two of them or three of them, or some woman with three men or two options, and they going back out like I'm so over it. But y'all got it here. Y'all got it too. Somebody didn't get this enlightenment that they that you the person that they want to put up on a pedestal. They didn't get this enlightenment. Now they upset. They want to come in. They want to redo everything after they didn't cause all this heartbreak and pain and third party situation. Now they want to birth something new with you. Now they want to use their intuition. Now they're looking at you as the one. Oh man, I could have good luck. Everything could be working out just fine with Gemini. But guess what? Now they want to rush towards you, but it's after you didn't already left. And you left because there was a, they was out here. That's the Ace of Wands next to the Three of Swords. They was out here fucking around with other people. <laughs> so guess what you did? Release. I got to get out of this shit. No, nah, I don't want this. Gemini left. So now they done went out here and fucked. Excuse my language. They done went out here and slept with third parties. And you decided to leave. And when you left, faith was restored. But now they want to restore faith with you by not being selfish anymore. But you, when you left your faith, you weren't in despair. You got better. You healed. You got better. But now, after going out here sleeping around, they didn't gain some enlightenment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gemini is the one I want. But they went towards a third party. But we've seen that in the what's the tea. Because now these third parties is worrying about you. Oh, goodness. Yeah. This person's selfishness caused y'all to have a lot of chaos and conflict. But like I said, now this person from your past, now they want to come in with love and kindness after you didn't already walked away and left. Now they feel like they have the tools that they need to try to make this thing work. They ain't got a lot of confidence, though. They feel like they can give you something. They got the tools they need to make it right, but they don't feel like they have it all. They know that they was in that King of Wands reverse energy. The King of Wands will go look for the next best thing, honey. They know. They was out here fucking around. The King of Wands is very charismatic, passionate, but not enduring, honey. They When they thinking, they was thinking with the wrong head just to find out it wasn't worth it. And now they want to come back. So now they don't want it to be over. They want to put you up on a pedestal because you done left due to things not working. So always, it's like, I, okay. Yeah, you're not worried about them, Gemini. Again, you and that boss daddy, boss mama energy, honey. You out here in the Nine of Pentacles. 
You're not worrying about it. You've healed. Your faith has been restored. You out here doing you, baby, and you look good doing it. <laughs> you look good doing it. It was like, I ain't got to be arguing and in chaos and conflict. Oh, no. I'm going to go do me. And that's exactly what you did. Yeah, you don't even want to go back. You don't, you don't want to go back to this. They hoping that you'll come back, but you didn't already left the building. Oh my God. Somebody definitely, I'm telling you, somebody wants to come back after they did you wrong. Somebody wants to come back after they did you wrong. They know they did you wrong. Now they want to come back with the tail tucked between their legs. I'm sorry, I cheated on you. Can you forgive me, Gemini? <laughs> I'm sorry, Gemini. I know you caught me. I don't know how you found out about them third parties, but you did. And now I'm sorry. You done found out I was out here fucking around behind your back, Gemini. So uh, can we make it right? Because I see good luck comes with you, Gemini. You 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 about your business. Yep. I'm telling you somebody wants to come back to you after they didn't explore all the other options. Seven of Cups. With the three of swords. And it's next to this here. That ain't so on. So after they then went out here and fucked around and found other people and slept around and lots of options, now they get the enlightenment that they really love Gemini and don't want Gemini to go nowhere. Yep, now they're ready to release all these options and not come towards you toxic. Oh, but look at here. The Empress is at the bottom of the deck. They want to come out of the cold. They want to birth something new after y'all experience the tower. Mm. Give me just a few more spirit and then we're going to wrap this thing up. Yeah, they don't want to be juggling no more because they are they are very out of balance since you left. And I don't think that they, they didn't see that this was going to call. Like, they didn't see that this ending was coming. Whoever did this, they didn't see that you was going to walk away. They didn't see that they was really, they didn't see it. That this was gonna be that this was gonna be their justice. This was your justice. Was this relationship ending? They didn't see it. They didn't even think that they was gonna end up being out of balance after experiencing these third parties. They didn't think that they was gonna feel out of balance in their emotions, temperance reverse when you walked away. They didn't see it. Now they see you out here in this independent energy, and you ain't juggling in your emotions. You ain't juggling in your finances. You ain't worried about shit. You over here cool as a motherfucking feather. All right, Gemini, look like you doing the damn thing. You and Taurus are doing it, honey. There's some idiots out here, though, that is heavily watching you. Watching your every move, baby. I ain't lying. I'm proud of my signs this week. I'm proud of y'all. Because it seems like y'all have stepped into an energy of, I am not worrying about this. I'm going to focus on me and what I got going on. I ain't worried about this foolishness. And y'all not. Congratulations. All right, Spirit, what does a uh, Gemini's person want to say to Gemini? What does Gemini's person want to say to Gemini? This is crazy. People are crazy. <laughs> so y'all start, listen, y'all past person and, <laughs> and the third party watching y'all. I just thought about that. The past and the third party watching you and the third party want to be just like you. Ain't that some stuff? Feeling lost. Somebody's feeling lost without you. This is from your person, Gemini. I, I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. It's just easier to just be quiet. Yeah, it sounds like you need to. They don't feel like it's simple. They want to know how do you feel because they want you and, and us forever. But to you, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't think it's as simple for, for you to come back. Because that came in reverse. It's not so simple. They, they don't know how they feel. They know they want you. But they don't know how to do it. They hoping that this isn't a goodbye. I don't want to walk away. But 
it's what's best for me and us for right now but this isn't a goodbye we'll be together again soon actually this isn't goodbye came in reverse i think this person's scared that it's about to be over due to these third parties twin flame i think they realize that they you think that they're afraid that you think that they are false twin flame because that's in reverse This person feels like they don't really want to, they're not ready to heal. Time to heal is in reverse. This person's not ready to heal, Gemini. They're telling you they're not ready to heal. And they don't want any emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you being raw, my authentic, with my emotions, something I'm still working on. They're not ready. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they're not ready to be, uh, they're, uh, in, they're emotionally immature. They're not going to heal. They're coming towards you in a false twin flame energy. They don't think that this is an easy fix and they feel lost. Sound like a child. This is what you saying to your person. Is it true? Oh, is this true? This is what Gemini is saying to, to Gemini's uh, cross, uh, to the cross watcher or their past person. Is it true? Because I heard that you was dating someone. Is it true? Tell me. Tell me. This is what your person's saying. Gemini, this is what you're saying to your person. Is it true? Tell me the truth. Because I heard you was dating somebody. Is that true? Tell me it isn't true. Because I think it's true. What else does Gemini want to say? They not hurt, not, not even a little bit. If you thought you was hurting Gemini by having third parties, you're not. Mm-mm. You hurt me is in reverse, baby. They're not even hurt. They just want to know if it's true. They're not hurt. Mm. Wow. Wee. You want to know something that's so crazy, Gemini's person? They're not hurt by what you did, but they did think that you, they, they put you up on a pedestal. Did you know that? Your Gemini had put you up on a pedestal. They thought that you were perfection. They thought that your beauty was amazing they were very attracted to you and um grateful to have met somebody like you but you went and found a third party so it is what it is so but jim and i want you to know that they there was a time when they really looked up to you but they look like that shit is over this person is leaving the situation or a mindset that has not served them or has hindered their growth. Focus on my money. Told you. Somebody focusing on their money, honey. Focus on my money. I'm currently focusing on my career, my finances. My main priority is financial stability. They're not worried about you anymore. They don't feel like you're a mystery. They used to. Jim and I, you used to feel like this person was a mystery. You don't feel like, it seems like you figured some things out. And as soon as you did, now you know where you, you know where you stand. They not looking, you're not looking at this person as a mystery. You know where you stand with them now. <laughs> and they asking, is it true? But I think Jim and I already know the answer to that question. What does Spirit have to say? Spirit, what do you have to say? Three cards. Spirit, what do you have to say? Somebody is putting way too much attention on other people. They're addicted to attention. They need all this attention in order to feel wanted and needed. And they don't feel whole without it. This person will never spoil you. They can never give you the good life. They can't give you gifts, trips, nothing. You, they can't. Whoever this is, they can't give you nothing, Gemini. Just keep, just keep it pushing, baby. One more spirit. What do you have to say? Ghosted. This is why this person ghosted you because they can't give, they can't give you what you need, Gemini. You just better off being a boss daddy, boss mama by your damn self because they'll never be able to give you what you need. So they want to tell you that they sorry they disappeared. I needed to get away to clear my head. But don't be, you, you're not guess. this person can't gaslight you anymore, Gemini. You see the situation for what it is. It is what it is. You're not lost. You're not in the dark. You see what they've done. You know what's going on. Keep doing you, baby. 
Because it sounds like you're doing just fine. All right, let's look at your money. What's going on with Gemini's money for this upcoming week, Spirit? Gemini, some of y'all about to be the rebel. That means you're about to be a trailblazer, meant to see things differently and set a new path for others. Okay, you are you have a rebellious spirit that makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way of doing things. An old belief about money could be preventing some of y'all from getting ahead. So it's time to rebel and change some things up. Justice, something in your life needs to be brought into alignment. Your career may be in law, such as a police, military, or courts, or in the criminal justice. Be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters, or you'll face the consequences. Y'all want to be balanced with your money. Justice. Somebody might be having some stuff with some uh, the, the legal system, but whatever you do, make sure it's ethical, okay? Make sure, Gemini, make sure what you're doing is ethical now. Unstable. There have been a lot of ups and downs with your finances. Money is coming in fast, but it's going out just as quickly. Fast changes regarding money or an unexpected turn of events. If you are experiencing some instability, don't do nothing that's going to end up putting you in the justice system, okay? But Spirit does want you to be a trailblazer and try to see things from a different perspective on making your money. Does that make sense? All right, Gemini, that's all I got for you on I Am The Light for this coming week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Stay away from them crazies and them third parties, y'all, because it sounds like y'all about that money. Go ahead and keep your mind on your money and your money on your mind, baby. All right, so that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye, baby.